Hi, how you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and I'm here to talk to you about a new IPO called New Wave Esports. Now, I am a parent, I am a single father, I do have two kids, and one thing I've learned is that kids love gaming, okay? Kids love gaming, and not just kids, teenagers, millennials, and adults as well. This is a brand new IPO that just opened up and I wanted to make you aware of it because I think that they have enormous potential. I actually got an opportunity to interview this company. I believe you'll see the interview next week. But in the meantime, what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of show you a little bit about this company and break it down so you can have a better idea of who they are, where they're trading, how many shares they have, and what the future is for this brand new IPO. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, we're gonna look at the price. So New Wave Esports is trading at 11 cents. That's right, 11 cents. It's down 8% right now, it's at 11 cents. It's traded 314,000 shares, okay? Since it's gone public, it's initially gone down. It first came public at 16 cents and it came down, it's been as low as 10 cents. Right now we see them at 11 cents. They did have a little bump to 12, but now they're back down to 11. Now, one of the things that I really like about this company is the share structure. Only 35,937,753 shares issued and outstanding. That gives them a market cap of 3.9 million. I believe this is grossly undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. And I think that the upside is absolutely tremendous for this company. And we're going to get into why. Okay. Tight share structure. Very low price. New Wave Esports Corp. Now, this is the website. New Wave Esports growing portfolio represents some of the leading organizations in esports today. Now, I brought you guys a gaming company at the beginning of this year called Enthusiast Gaming. I brought you that stock when it was at around, just under around 90 cents. It did go to a high of almost $3. It's still, I believe, over two bucks. So it has been a huge winner for our community and for our members. And I wanted to find another eSports gaming stock, okay? Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence, always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. This is a company that I think has a lot of potential. I would love to know your opinion on New Wave Esports, okay? This is a company that has a growing portfolio of companies and we're gonna break them all down. It's a brand new public listing this is Daniel Mitre, the CEO and managing partner, the person that I interviewed from the company. Stay tuned to that interview and we'll get back into the website soon. Now what I wanna do is I wanna really get into it. I wanna break down this company. So this little known stock is offering investors a new way to get into the multi-billion dollar esports industry, New Wave Esports Corp on the CSE under the symbol NWES, just entered the esports market with a proven business model and growing portfolio of winning esports companies. Imagine attending an action-packed live event and gaining early access to a lucrative once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If you happen to be at this particular event, you would have had your shot back in 2011. It was Riot Games' very first League of Legends World Championship tournament, and arguably the first time the world really got to see how big the esports industry was about to become. Of course, esports isn't anything new. In fact, the first video game tournament was held way back in 1972 for a game called Space War. That was before I was born. But when an event offers a prize pool of 100,000 and draws in over 1.69 million viewers, heads start turning. That's right. $100,000 prize pool to play video games and 1.69 million viewers watching. That is enormous. 
in 2011, World Championships opened up the floodgates for investments into esports, with global esports revenue reaching 130 million the following year. And this giant market has continued on an upward trajectory ever since. The success of the Leagues of Legends game and its events caught the eye of Chinese multinational giant Tencent Holdings, who swiftly acquired a majority stake in the game's creator, Riot Games, for roughly $400 million. Back then, Tencent was trading at just over $4 US on the OTC. The company is now worth $387.84 billion US and is trading at $40 US dollars. That's a 10x, folks. That's a 10x. If you had a sneak peek of just how massive esports would become back then, well, you might have been reading this from your private island in the Caribbean. And while you have missed the boat, you may have missed the boat with some of the early winners in the esports world, there is still ample opportunity to capitalize on this lucrative industry. You just have to know where to look. Instead of looking at video game companies who are already in the prime with little chance of major upside, it makes more sense to look at these at those who are doing something different. The up and comers who are capable of massive gains. In short, the best way to get in on esports is by taking a page out of Berkshire Hathaway's book. Berkshire Hathaway creates amazing stock market gains by investing in winning companies across multiple sectors and enabling them to grow. That's why a share of Berkshire stock purchased in 1990 is up about 3,700% from what it was then. That's the proven power of the Berkshire model. The same model is what powers newly listed E-Wave, New Wave, Esports, Corp, and WES. They're the first ever publicly traded esports investment and acquisition vehicle. In other words, investors just scored access to some of the best and previously hard to access global esports deals. So essentially what these guys do is they invest in esports businesses similar to what Tencent did with Riot Games. And Tencent is a $40 stock. New Wave Esports is at 11 cents. The big news for investors and for New Wave Esports Corp, because the world of esports has barely been tapped yet, esports audiences have grown by almost 50% over the last year to one billion people. That means esports draws 10x the number of viewers that watched the 2019 Super Bowl. That's right. 10 times the viewers than the Super Bowl. That's big. Then there's the revenue from sponsorships, advertising, betting, prize pools, tournaments, merchandise, and ticket sales. The chart below shows why investors are scrambling for a way to get a piece of the exploding esports market. This little known stock is fueling growth of the multi-billion dollar esports industry. Get the latest news about the hot stock delivered right to your inbox. Esports market revenue worldwide from 2012 to 22 in million US dollars. So you can see the revenue growth is exponential. 130 million in 2012, 194 million in 2014, 325 million in 2015, 493 million in 2016, 655 million in 2017, 865 million in 2018, 1,000, 1 billion 96 million in 2019, and expected to grow to 1.79 billion by 2022 that is enormous enormous growth gaming is where it's at but most investors don't have connections to private esports investment opportunities so their best option is the first and only public stock out there right now new wave esports corp now i'm not suggesting you go and buy it today the reason why i'm bringing this up is i want to know your opinion is this the bottom for new AV sports? 35 million shares, 11 cents. I mean, could we see a 10X here? 
I'm always looking for the next big winner. Is this the next 10X? Gaming stock, 35 million shares issued and outstanding at 11 cents. But most investors don't have connections to private esports investment opportunities, so their best option is the first and only public stock out there right now, New Wave Esports. New Wave Esports, NWES, grows by helping other esports businesses grow. I love it. The company provides capital and services to help proven winners across the four most lucrative esports sectors. New Wave Esports correctly points out that this diversified approach gives investors more security in the rapidly growing esports industry. Better yet, the New Wave Esports NWES team knows both the world of esports and finance. Their CEO, Daniel Mitre, who I've met, really cool, very knowledgeable guy. He actually invited me to some of the New Wave Esports tournaments in New York and Toronto, so stay tuned. I might be live streaming directly from an event very, very soon. From electronic sports to THQ, Sega, and more, while their president, Trumbull Fisher, co-founder, co-funded and ran a hedge fund and has co-led raise rounds of significant figures. So they got a good team. It's easy to see why newly listed New Wave Esports is so well positioned to ride the esports wave to new heights, but there's even more to why this stock isn't likely to stay a secret for long. First of all, they're on Rich TV Live, obviously, so they're not gonna be a secret for long because now you guys know. So congratulations for being here and learning about this potential future giant that is still only at 11 cents, despite the fact that they have 35 million shares issued outstanding. Following in the path of Amazon's 970 million esports investment, you can see some of the companies that they're working with, and I'll break them down in more detail. New Wave Esports gives their investors a way to gain from the deals and investments they make and the portfolio companies they help grow. Other public traded companies, meanwhile, are also looking to gain from esports. Back in 2014, Amazon paid 970 million in cash for a live esports streaming platform called Twitch. And Twitch now is obviously enormous. That's an impressive buyout, especially since Twitch had only started three years earlier. Fast forward to 2018 and the expectation that Amazon will help Twitch grow into a 3.79 billion company from ad revenue. Wow. Today, Twitch continues to dominate the live streaming market. Q2 2019 was its second biggest quarter to date. Twitch viewers live streamed over 2.7 billion hours that quarter, over 72% of all live hours watched. The story of Twitch's growth is fantastic, but the only way investors could get a piece of that action is to buy Amazon stock, which trades at over 1700 per share, and as a result, doesn't have anywhere close to the near-term upside potential of little known New Wave Esports. Now that New Wave Esports has gone public and is investing in winning esports companies, expect them to get a lot more attention and become the stock investors think of when it comes to esports. Of course, that will only make it easier for New Wave Esports to raise more capital to inject into their portfolio companies so they can continue to thrive. That said, the good news is they still prudently have around 2.5 million cash in the bank for good measure. What makes New Wave Esports even more attractive as the path for investors to gain from esports is their competitors aren't working toward going public. Why? Mainly because their esports companies don't have capital markets experience. The world of finance isn't really their thing. Even if a competitor wanted to go public, they'd still be three to six months behind New Wave Esports, first mover advantage at least. That alone would be enough to make investors hot to scoop up New Wave Esports stock, NWES, on the Canadian Securities Exchange. But here's a lot more to the company's strengths. 
So now what they're going to do is they're going to break down some of the companies that they're working with. New Wave Esports Corp isn't like a traditional investment group or venture fund that invests in a company, checks in quarterly on how it's performing, and then moves on. Instead, they get really involved in guiding the accelerating in guiding and accelerating their portfolio companies by partnering as business operators, not just around finance and business building, but also when it comes to dominating the esports world. The only reason NWES New Wave Esports can do that is because their CEO, Daniel Mitre, is an esports industry expert, while their president, Trumbull Fisher, has expertise in capital markets. Here's how Mitre explains it. This is their CEO, Daniel Mitre. I consider us a double-headed dragon. I'm the esports guy, he's the finance side. Together, we're bringing some serious fire. The rest of our team is very much a blend of both areas. We have financial advisors, we have experts in esports and gaming. So when New Wave Esports says they're also invested in a portfolio company, they're talking about money, but also investing, also investment of case-by-case -case guidance. They go beyond providing advisory services by often taking advisory roles in the portfolio companies. This double-headed dragon advantage enables the New Wave Esports NWES team to pull from the gaming and financial networks they've created over the years and to bring in partnerships, sponsorships, and capital raises when needed. This hands-on approach only makes sense from the perspective since New Wave Esports takes on their portfolio company's top and bottom lines as part of their own valuation. But this hands-on approach also makes sense to investors buying New Wave Esports stock because it creates the accountability and efficiency shareholders are looking for. After all, investors want to see New Wave Esports stock grow fast, and the way that will happen is by their portfolio companies continuing, continuing to grow fast. So let's get into some of the assets. So one of the assets, so there are four winning companies that they've invested in. The first one is called Tidal Gaming. They invested $400,000. They have 250,000 stock options. Advisor roles head by, held by NWES2 and percentage of NWES portfolio, 42%. So New Wave Esports portfolio company Tidal is a professional esports and gaming platform company. The big news here is that Tidal owns and operates the top esports team in North America, according to earnings, Lazarus. So let's see if we can find Lazarus. So this is Lazarus right here. This is the top esports gaming team right here. This is the news that broke on July 26th to 28th. Epic Games hosted the Fortnite World Cup Finals in Flushing, New York, where thousands of fans gathered to see who would be crowned the world's best Fortnite player. Among the many participants, participants that left the event victorious, Lazarus Esports, Tidal Gaming Group's competitive gaming division, earned a total of $3.45 million in winnings, at the conclusion of the event. That's the winning team right there. Consequently, this achievement positioned Lazarus Esports as the top esports team in North America, according to earnings. I'm extremely proud of the performance from Lazarus Esports at the Fortnite World Cup, says Charlie Watson, CEO of Tidal Gaming Group. The success over the course of the event would not be possible without the dedication and hard work from all of our members. So this is just one of the companies that New Wave Esports has invested into. In total, a 30 million prize pool was up for grabs across various competitions. $30 million. 
in prizes for gaming, folks. That's how much money is being thrown around in gaming. I don't think a lot of people really understand how big gaming is. And this is why I want to make sure that we get into it first and we talk about it first and we talk about it when it's literally brand new and nobody knows. Lazarus Esports Fortnite team members David Jung, a.k.a. Rojo, and Jaden Ashman, a.k.a. Wolfies, competed in the duo category of the tournament and climbed into second place in the final, winning a $2.25 million prize. Meanwhile, on Sunday, July 28th, fellow team member Nate Ko, aka Creo, secured a fourth place finish in the solo tournament at the Fortnite World Cup, taking home a 1.05 million cash prize. Ku, age 18 from Parkland, Florida, said playing on this level has been huge and such a rush. It's even better being able to share this with teammates. The remaining members of the Lazarus team competed and collectively took home $200,000. We are proud of the monumental achievement and stellar performance the Lazarus athletes have demonstrated at this year's Fortnite World Cup, says Dan Mitre, CEO of New Wave Esports. We are excited about the possibility this opens as title gaming and New Wave Esports continues to grow our footprints in our competitive gaming communities. The collective success is a catalyst for the esports industry and establishes title gaming as a leading organization. So just imagine, New Wave Esports owns a team of gamers. This team of gamers is going to be traveling all over the world and making millions of dollars, hopefully, in prizes. And hopefully that number only gets bigger. While that number gets bigger, New Wave Esports is earning a commission because they own 42% of the company. This could be so big, very similar to what Tencent did with Riot Games and how they turned a $400 million investment into now a billion dollar global company and a $4 stock into a $40 stock. We are now talking about 11 cents stock. It's crazy. Overall, the event was a massive success, not only for the Fortnite franchise, but the esports industry on the whole. The 23,700 seat venue was sold out and an impressive 2.3 million viewers tuned in the live stream on Twitch and YouTube. While esports comp competitions are not a new phenomenon in the gaming landscape, the Fortnite World Cup is one of the first to propel esports tournaments into mainstream media. From the day leading up to the event, the magnitude of the Fortnite World Cup, and Fortnite is one of the most popular games for kids, including my son, he loves Fortnite, has been covered by a multitude of media outlets, including NBC News, Today, and has been discussed on late night television, including The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Additionally, the Fortnite World Cup's prize pool is the second largest prize pool in the history of esports, the first belonging to the International Nine, featuring Dota 2, whose prize pool has surpassed 32 million. By comparison, the Fortnite World Cup ranks highly among some notable traditional sports and competitions prize pools, including FIFA Women's Cup, 30 million prize pool, Wimbledon Grand Slam Tournament, 2.9 million grand prize, Indy 500, 2.6 million grand prize, PGA Masters Tournament, 2.07 million grand prize, Tour de France, 556,000 grand prize. Congratulations to all the winners of the Fortnite World Cup Finals. We are thrilled to see what's next for esports as the Fortnite World Cup is only a glimpse at the industry's potential. So this is really just the start. So a new wave esports portfolio company title is a professional esports and gaming platform company. 
The biggest news here is that Tidal owns and operates the top esports team in North America, according to earnings, Lazarus, which I just explained to you. Lazarus recently competed at the Fortnite World Cup in New York City in July 2019, 30 million USD prize pool, the largest at the time. Lazarus clinched second place in the duos, fourth in the singles, and earned 3.45 million in winnings, which NW. ES New Wave Esports is entitled to 42% of the profit. Lazarus is now the number one ranked Canadian team and a top 25 team worldwide. That was a big catalyst in the industry and alerted mass audiences. And there was a lot of money to be made in esports, but even bigger, now it's tapping into much larger audiences. Now we're seeing more deal flow coming through CEO Daniel Mitre. Since winners attract winners, it's no surprise Tidal's Lazarus team is already sponsored by Logitech, G Fuel, Scuff Gaming, Meta Threads, and Vertagear. So that's the first company they invested in. The second company is called Winning Asset, called Playline, investment of 250000 and the percentage of NWES portfolio, it's 16% of NWES's portfolio, okay? Sorry, I wanted to clear something up. So, Tidal Gaming is 42% of NWES's portfolio. Not they own 42% of Tidal Gaming, but it is actually 42% of NWES's portfolio. So it's a big portion of their portfolio. And Playline is 16% of New Wave Esports' portfolio. Playline is a daily fantasy sports betting platform. It was co-founded by UFC champion Michael the Count Bisbing. Wow. Really? Michael Bisbing? And secured 2x, two times NBA All-Star Roy Hibbert as their investor strategic partnership manager. The big news here is that Playline is one of the few companies that are bottom line profitable. They have from 400 to 450 ARPPU, average revenue per paying user. They already have about 250,000 registered users and growing. And as if that wasn't enough, Playline was just named as a finalist for the Fantasy Sports Operator of the Year Award. Now let's just try to see if we can learn a little bit more about Playline. So this is what Playline looks like. Get a deposit bonus up to a thousand, play the NFL lottery and win a million free. So this is Playline. How to play, three easy steps. Pick a contest, predict the stat line, watch and win. Get off the bench and get into the game by joining a plain line contest. Find your favorite game by sorting contests based on start, time, size, entry fee, or prize. Pick from our recommended contests in the feature tab in the contest lobby, or choose the sports league you know best and view only those games. Playline offers contests for everyone whether you're a rookie or headed to the Hall of Fame, we've got you covered with a variety of contest formats with entry level fees ranging from 10 cents to 10,000 plus and everything in between. Once you found your game, that's where the real action begins. So you can see here, playline.com, co-founded by UFC middleweight champion, Michael the Count Bisbing and former two-time NBA All-Star Roy Hibbert. Playline's goal is to make fantasy sports for everyone by simplifying the process, focusing on the superstar players you know and love, and by offering the biggest cash prizes in all of daily fantasy sports. Here at Playline, we recognize that daily fantasy sports has become overly complex and time-consuming while fostering an ecosystem built on unfair models of competition. That's not right. Playline's goal is to provide its users with a simplified fantasy experience that evens the playing field. Instead of drafting players or using a salary cap, 
play line asks you to predict the stat line of our featured superstar players. Tell us how you think these athletes will perform. The closer your your play line stat line is to the player's actual performance, the more points you get, the higher point totals, the more likely you are to share in our industry leading real money prizing. But why choose a stat line format? First of all, it's a lot of fun. So this is very similar to fantasy. There's no better way to prove your esports, your sports fandom than by predicting exactly how a world-class athlete will perform. Second, figuring out the best way to optimize a salary cap line up takes a large amount of time and complex mathematics. Predicting stat lines does not, yet both require the same amount of skill. Lastly, with play lines focused on superstar players, you can now play fantasy sports focused solely on the players you know and love. I like this idea. Forget spending hours sifting through data on backups and bench players by joining UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisbing and knocking the sleepers out cold. That's pretty cool, man. So they own a piece of this company too. Playline.com. I mean, there's so many companies out there. I wasn't even familiar with Playline.com until now. Let's see who else. Wow, so they already have 250,000 registered users and growing on Playline. And they were just named the finalist for the Fantasy Sports Operator of the Year Award. Winning asset number three, even matchup gaming. So they invested $250,000 into this company. The percentage of NWES portfolio is 18% of their portfolio and they have an option to acquire up to 49% of the company. Wow. New Wave Esports NWES portfolio company Even Matchup Gaming EMG runs original events that brings esports to the masses through over 80 events each year. Man, I got to start going to these events. I got to start going to these events. Guys, I'm going to start going to these events, okay? I'm a big fan of gaming. My son loves gaming. I've always been a huge fan of gaming. I'm going to start going to these events, and I'm going to start to live stream them, okay? And I'm a huge fan of gaming. Always been a fan of gaming. I'm a huge fan of new technology. I'm a huge fan of growing industries. I'm a huge fan of industries that are hyper growth industries gaming is one of those hyper growth industries similar to cannabis similar to cryptocurrencies this is a hyper growth industry so the big news here is that emg is bottom line profitable as well so once again they're investing in another profitable company their partnerships include nintendo red bull benq and new non endemics coming through they also represent Canada's top Super Smash Bros talent and produce the largest Canadian Super Smash Bros event, Get On My Level. Attendance over 2,100 fans and players, just under 1 million unique visitors, sorry, just under 1 million unique viewers on live stream on Twitch. All of this opens incredible sponsorship opportunities and positions New Wave Esports portfolio company as one of the leaders in the esports community. Let's take a look at them. Even Matchup Gaming. Before I look at their fourth asset. So this is the third asset, Even Matchup Gaming. Never heard of these guys either. What we do. Event organization. We provide the equipment and staffing needed to host events on both the local and international level, including Canada's largest smash event, Get On My Level, and many more. Player sponsorship. We have the top Canadian talent in Super Smash Bros. represent us at major events across the world. We empower our players and give them the support needed to take their game to the next level. Media production. Even Matchup Gaming broadcasts our events to a worldwide audience via Twitch and YouTube. We also produce original content 
to highlight our community and help tell their story. I like it. So you can see here, they're working with Enthusiast Gaming, Live Expo. So this entire sector is all connected. Just like the cannabis sector is connected, the gaming sector is connected. And I love what New Wave Esports is doing by investing in assets that are growing in this hyper growth sector. I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. You can take a look at their team. Wow, look at their sponsors. Nintendo, Red Bull. It says contact us, we'd love to we'd love to collaborate. Interesting. I'd love to collaborate with you guys too. Tell me more. So that's even matchup gaming. And last but not least, let's talk about their winning asset number four, Thunderbolt CDG. So they invested 250,000 into Thunderbolt CDG. That is 16% of the NWES portfolio. And NWES actually owns 100% of Thunderbolt CDG. NWES portfolio company Thunderbolt EDG is a Los Angeles based software application and technology development specialist. To date, Thunderbolt has developed world class tech for over 40 startup companies. The big news here is that since New Wave Esports now fully owns Thunderbolt, its new mandate is to develop proprietary tools and platforms for the emerging esports industry with solutions expected to launch next year. That is very good near-term news for New Wave Esports and its stock. The por that portfolio of winning esports companies also gives New Wave Esports another big competitive advantage, diversification. Let's take a look at Thunderbolt, which they now own 100%. Thunderbolt CDG is acquired by New Wave Holdings Corp. If you want to look at the old website, click this link here. Interesting. I don't know what's going on with that website. Maybe they're updating the, oh, there it is. We are a software product design and development company. So these are some of the projects. So they own 100% of this company. Pretty cool. So this makes New Wave Esports diversified across the four most lucrative esports sectors. Invest across multiple market sectors that are strong and growing. This model protects the interests of its shareholders by increasing its ability to return gains. It also creates greater stability while riding this emerging esports wave. We are giving you a diversified portfolio in the esports and gaming communities. This is Trumbull Fisher, the president of New Wave Esports. The portfolio we just looked at gives New Wave Esports a stake in the four esports sectors that are the most lucrative and that have the greatest potential for growth. Fantasy sports and gambling, events and activations, technology and tools, teams, leads, and organizations. Love it. 
That diversity also gives New Wave Esports the potential to take advantage of the synergistic opportunities across their portfolio. It's easy to see how this sector spanning presence could be a major advantage that helps New Wave Esports drive up their valuation and share price as word gets out about their stock. New Wave Esports is a well-rounded and positioned team of experts. Berkshire Hathaway couldn't create such amazing gains without expertise in investment groups and capital markets. In the same way, New Wave Esports understands it's not enough to just know the esports industry inside and out. They also need serious money experts, which they have. On the West Coast, we're on the West Coast. Their team members have ears to the ground on Vancouver's financial streets. On the East Coast side, their team at their main headquarters are plugged into the money movement coming out of Toronto. Balancing off those locations and that money focus is their CEO, Daniel Mitre, in Los Angeles, where the vibrant esports community is driven by the likes of Red Bull and the Santa Monica eSports Arena. Here's a closer look at the double-headed dragon leading the New Wave eSports team. Daniel Mitre, CEO, has built businesses and games. He's been in the industry for over 17 years in the gaming, marketing, development, player communications, and building large-scale communities for AAA franchises. He's accomplished too much to list, so here's just a glimpse. He's led, he's led large-scale marketing campaigns and community programs for Electronic Arts, Sega, THQ, Music Mastermind, Spin Master Studios, and Sierra Online. His work on gaming franchise include Battlefield, Madden, NBA Live, The Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, man, I love a lot of these games, MX and ATV, and a lot more. Big fan of Madden. Today, he's building New Wave Esports, NWES, into a force to be reckoned with in the esports space by drawing on his enviable industry network and insider knowledge of how to create success in the esports world. Trumbull Fisher, president, is the other half of the double-headed dragon. He's an expert in managing capital markets and creating financial growth with over 15 years experience. He knows how and when new wave esports should invest and how to make sure they'll be profitable along the way. He cut his teeth in the world of money by contributing to some of the largest financial institutions in Canada by raising significant sums in capital. He also co-founded financial companies and investment funds and co-founded and acted as COO and head of trading for a hedge fund. 11 cent stock. It's an 11 cent stock. So this is the website. Philosophy. Support ideas through ethical, socially responsible, inclusive, and honest relationship. Portfolio. Even match of gaming, title, playline, Thunderbolt CDG, Avatar One Esports Capital Corp. And I'm sure there's more coming. Our team, our shared passion for and belief that the world of esports is just barely tapped for opportunity has brought the new Wave Esports team together. News. The latest news on all things New Wave Esports and the esports industry. Let's just watch this quick little video. We're here to drive, accelerate, and innovate the world of esports and competitive gaming. Esports actually started 40 years ago, and Stanford University held the first esports competition. Now you fast forward to modern times, and you have 2017 2018 season of Fortnite where Epic Games announced a $100 million prize pool uh, for its season. And that's where the world said, oh, there's something to this. So what is esports? Esports is certainly any way that you play a game competitively, whether it's uh, on a professional level or within your local communities. Esports is also comprised of the platforms in which players connect with each other and players connect with brands and brands connect with teams. And it's also the tools and the networks that facilitate
facilitate those connections. So New Wave Esports opens the door of opportunity for esports and competitive gaming to flourish and to thrive around the world. What is attractive to me about esports is the growth of the industry and how diverse it is and how diverse it can be and the amount of people that it can bring together. They're some of the most passionate people and driven people that I've come across in my entire career. Esports around the world is certainly a phenomenon. Uh, it started in Asia and really gravitated towards television. This was prior to streaming services. Then we go to Europe and you have a lot of collegiate scenes and a lot of kids really getting involved in first person shooters and expanding that globally. And then here we have North America, which has been a little behind Asia and Europe, but there's big money coming in that is absolutely elevating the industry into new levels that we never thought possible. It is very clear that there's something special here because you see the money, you see the people, you see the celebrities that are getting involved, and you see the new companies. This is really a global phenomenon that is going to continue to grow. New AV Sports is not your traditional financial group. If you're looking to get involved in the world of esports, New Wave is here to help. So those are the key members of the team and you can learn more on their website newwaveesports.com I did actually interview Daniel Mitre stay tuned to that interview I will most likely be posting that next week but as usual before I even show you guys the interview I like to go through these companies so you can learn a little bit more about them and just get educated on the company as a whole okay now, once again, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. We are not licensed advisors. Always discuss any investment that we talk about on our show with your financial advisor. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. We bring you winners. We bring them to you first. We try to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities. But we do not control the markets. We are not insiders in the companies. I do not have a block of shares. Um, so at the end of the day, I can't control any of these stocks. What I can do is control the amount of research I do. What I can do is I can watch them. I can read their news. And as a community here at Rich TV Live, we can watch them as a community and we can determine if it's at a bottom, if it's at a top, if it's a buying opportunity. And as a community, try to figure out when is the time for us to position ourselves if we want to position ourselves in a company? Now, let's take a look at the vision statement. The vision statement is to drive, energize, and accelerate the global growth of esports and competitive gaming, including affiliated companies, organizations, and technologies with the goal of enhancing experiences for players, fans, industry professionals, and investors. Mission statement. We believe esports and competitive gaming are the future of lifestyle and entertainment, and I agree 100%. We play a pivotal role in enhancing all aspects of the industry for existing fans, players, and associated organizations. We do this by opening up the doors of opportunity for future growth in esports and competitive gaming. Now, this is the team. You guys can see here. Daniel Mitre, Chief Executive Officer and Managing Partner, Trumbull Fisher, President and Managing Partner, and Tiffany Lee, CFO. This is the advisory board. So they've got a pretty large board and their board of directors. They've got all their social feeds here and you can even sign up for their newsletter at the top of the page. So strategically located in Los Angeles and Toronto, two of my favorite cities in the world. I'm gonna sign up Rich TV I'm gonna sign up for alerts. And if you want to contact them, you just fill in the basic details and you can contact them. You can follow them on all of their social feeds. Let's see what they look like. Oh. 
So they've got 1,243 people following them. So literally just getting started, guys, out the gates here. Let's see what they look like on Twitter. 515 followers on Twitter. Let's see. Let's see how big they are on Twitch. This is their Twitch page. Let's see what they look like on LinkedIn. Oh, I gotta sign in. I don't wanna do that right now. Let's see what they look like on Facebook. That's what they look like on Facebook. So literally, guys, this is a brand new IPO. It's literally just getting started. Love to know what you guys think about this. Love to know your guys' opinion. If you like this video, please smash the like button. Oh, are they at 12 cents now? Did they just go up? Let's see. No, they're 10 and a half cents. They're 10 and a half cents down 12.5%, traded 346,000 shares. So we could see here that they've been as high as, I guess, 14 cents is where they opened up. They're right now at 10 and a half. So they've gone down initially since the IPO. Our goal with investments is to build a diversified portfolio of holdings where we can contribute to a company that is scaling growing their audiences, developing new technology, need the capital to successfully enter their growth phase or to rocket into their profitability phase. Our investment arm is a channel for those who want to get into esports but are not experts or do not have the funds to make large investments themselves. We're also great for institutions looking for exposure to our investment arm and our acquisition and development arms, further diversifying their investment acquisitions. Our goal with acquisitions is to find opportunities within the esports and significantly contribute to our portfolio, add strong value for our shareholders, and pushes the esports industry forward. Progression of the industry is not only a mutually beneficial outcome, but a responsibility as gaming industry veterans as we acquire a new company that we've determined as a solid leadership team, and innovative product, and an exciting roadmap. New Wave Esports becomes fully responsible for every aspect of the company from marketing to operations and solely responsible for grow their audiences and revenue development. The goal of our in-house development focus on developing tools and solutions in the near future to meet the growing needs of the esports industry with innovation and creativity. So you can learn more about their press releases, their investment deck, right on their website. I'm not gonna go through all of that. We've already gone through so much. Um, is there any news today? I think I saw some news, let's take a look. And once again, only 35 million shares issued in outstanding, so I really like the flow. So here it is. This is some news from today. New Wave Esports appoints Clayton Fisher as director. So this is the new news today. New Wave Esports is pleased to announce that subject to regulatory approval, Clayton Fisher has been appointed to the company's board of directors. Mr. Fisher brings more than 10 years of experience as an investment advisor in the financial services industry, having managed over 400 million in assets for corporations around the world while working at firms including Raymond James and Canaccord Genuity. His leadership will be key as the company expands the capital and support services it provides to esports organizations, teams, leagues, events, platforms, and technology innovators around the world. We are thrilled to welcome Clayton to the new Wave Esports family, said Daniel Mitre, CEO and managing partner of New Wave Esports. Clayton brings a sophisticated understanding of the technology sector, a vital component in esports and competitive gaming and his leadership will be essential as we provide working capital and corporate advisory services to our existing and future portfolio companies. 
The esports industry represents an amazing opportunity for investment, said Clayton Fisher. I'm excited about New Wave Esports and its vision to provide the investment capital, operations expertise, and in innovation needed to elevate the entire industry. I'm highly focused on working with the leadership team to achieve this vision. Issuance of shares and restricted share units. The company also announced that in exchange for Mr. Fisher achieving certain performance based milestones prior to the related to this appointment, it has issued Mr. Fisher an aggregate of 650,000 common shares of the company and granted Mr. Fisher 350,000 restricted share units of the company. 87,500 RSUs vested on October 31st, 2019. 87,500 RSUs will vest on February 29, 2020. 87,500 RSUs will vest on June 30th, 2020. And 87,500 RSUs will vest on October 30th, 2020. All RSUs were granted in accordance with the company's restricted share unit plan as approved by the company shareholders on September 20th, 2019. The shares and RSUs are restricted from trading until March 2nd, 2020. So there will be a restriction on some of those shares that they've issued. About New Wave Esports. New Wave Esports is an esports and competitive gaming company that provides capital and support services to esports organizations, teams, leagues, events, platforms, tools, and technology innovators. The company's vision is to drive, energize, and accelerate the global growth of esports and competitive gaming, including affiliated companies, organizations, and technologies with the goal of enhancing experiences for players fans, industry professionals, and investors. New Wave Esports plays a pivotal role in enhancing all aspects of the industry. They do this by opening the doors of opportunity for future growth in esports and competitive gaming. New Wave Esports has leadership teams located in Toronto, Ontario, and Los Angeles, California. Highlights of the New Sports, New Wave Esports portfolio. We've broken those down and the management team we've talked about as well. So there's some new news there as well for New Wave Esports. Once again, a new IPO with huge potential in the esports gaming industry, NWES New Wave Esports Corp at 10 and a half cents. This is my first video. Keep them on your watch list. Keep them on your radar. If you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere. A new gaming company that actually invests in the gaming sector and helps the companies they invest grow. I love this company. I think there's huge potential. I do not own it, but if I buy some stock in this company, I will let you know. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. It's true, your boy Rich, and I'm out. Peace. New Wave Esports. New Wave Esports. I'm just gonna do some more due diligence. I'm gonna do some more research. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Comment down below, share the video everywhere. I'm out, peace.